Detail me, stages of self. Give an example of each stage. Wait, did we do this yesterday? No. Okay, finally, describe the Hoffman's perspective of self. There we go. Yesterday was the last That's right. I actually got a project for you to work on then the remainder of the day and even tomorrow. I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, class, but I mean, it might take you. What? Uh, I can work for by yourself. Individual. What is on the shoulder of your shirt? You have not done any group projects. Yeah, I think it's Where? The top left. Oh, it's top left. So, okay. It's always dirty line right No, it, it, yeah, but it, it's not. That is exactly what it is. No, <laughs> no it isn't. Well, maybe it is, but I don't even know. I didn't buy it for that one. But you're the only one that noticed that. I know I did. Yeah. Oh, I noticed it. Oh, okay. Yeah, who has a dirty mind? Yeah. Yeah. You would say that back there, Bachelor in Paradise. Hey, Tegan, can I come over? <laughs> See your brother's friends. Yeah, it was, Sarah. I know. There you go. Oh, I got two vocab terms for you too. Got to explain that it goes along with Dolphin's perspective of self, and and kind of goes along with the project that you'll have to complete. Then, wow, this is a record. Are you really trying to start today? I'm not. I'm just saying. It's, it's nice to see you. It is. <laughs> you should show up. Hey, pizza delivery. <laughs> Well, while I'm here, I might as well just come and hang out. Um, right in a, they're in a bookstore, and then when they go back to school, they can bring it to me. Might hang in their dorm room. How cool that be? Yeah, they're not. Apartment. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Brings back old good memories. You just like collectively agree that it's better in here. Yeah. Well, it's just like that. This girl and my sister just stayed in the apartment next to ours and see people. She thought it was a really good idea to stay in there because they were like, yeah, that's boring. And then they came back, they were all like, that's hot. Like, all that kind of stuff. And Shreela is like, most. Yeah. Yeah. Person, awesome. I thought you were a hot chair all day. <laughs> <laughs> she said her like, clothes smelled like marijuana. Stuff, and she was actually oh, my God. Who's this? Like, my sister. Oh, I didn't know you had one. Madam, like, still dead. Yeah. Why? Like, How old is she? Older than that. All righty. Let's get to it here. Start with me. The stage is itself. What do we got? Let's start off with the preparatory stage. Put your phone away. I already have one up here. I'll take it. Oh my God, you still have this phone? Yeah. <laughs> you can't see all day. 
Maybe. I might get the other ones too. Unlock, unlock Can you imagine that? <laughs> I'll get both of them. Probably gonna get like fifteen FaceTime calls like that. <laughs> what? Yeah, at least they do at lunch and um, when you go. Do they talk? Unlock me. I don't know. Oh yeah, I got reblocked. Way to go! Ooh, what you guys are up to? No, All right, preparatory stage. Yeah, I want to get through this, and then you guys can work on your projects. Go ahead, Bree. Yeah, good job, good job. And I know I gave the example yesterday of maybe an older sibling, okay, maybe uh, parents, uncles, friends, you name it, okay. Mostly a part of the family, though. Uh, I'm sure you've all heard it before. Oh, you act like your, your mother and your father. Let that quiet down. All right, good. What's the next stage we talked about? Roy? Play stage. Play stage, good job. What's that? Uh, yeah, pretend to be others, right? So this intuitive age kind of what we've talked about with Piaget's developmental stages and how they're trying to take roles that maybe they look up to, they see on television, they see in media, like firefighters, police officers, whatever have you. Remember that catalog, that kid's room, the firefighters, you know, the trucks and everything? It's like, wow, that's pretty cool. Wish I had a room like that. Yeah, so play stage again <clears throat> is that, uh, that role or they're trying to role set. Okay, where they're trying to fit these roles that maybe they look up to or maybe they aspire to be. An astronaut, maybe. I, think, I feel like all kids, I want to be an astronaut. One time when I was in school, my one friend, one of my best friends, we're going through the, you know, going through the rows and it's like, oh, what do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, police officer, firefighter, astronaut. And we got to know one buddy, he goes, a dinosaur. I'm like, what? Even at a young age, I'm like, what? A dinosaur? Well, which one? <laughs> <laughs> all right last stage we talked about tegan game stage, game stage. what's that didn't understand the past. yeah good job good job and this is really setting us through our society okay and how we are obviously living through uh, this this uh this stage through where we we might need to go to the doctors or what are we need our car fixed we go to the mechanic uh, you name it. We're trying to fit these titles, these roles, these statuses that apply to our certain situation. Good, good. Any questions on me stages? Good. All right, Goffman. Goffman. What was his per uh, perspective of self? What do we have? Sarah? Yeah, okay. Good job. Good job. And we talked yesterday about dramaturgy, right? And how that is really just, we're, we're, we're almost acting almost every day in life, right? And Bree, what do you have? You had your hand up. Dramaturgy. Okay, yep. So he visualized his perspective of ourself is how we are acting literally every single day. And depending on our environment, depending who we're interacting with, we might have a different, uh, I guess you say model, a different status, a different role. Okay, and that applies. I mean, it makes sense, right? It's understandable. Uh, when I know I go, I come here, I'm a teacher after school, I'm a coach. I go home, I'm the, the dog dad, I guess. The dog goes crazy. I mean, when I come home, tinkles all over the floor and my feet. Can't stand it. I figured, I, I feel like he should grow out of that stage sooner or later, but he doesn't. Eight months, almost nine months a uh, mini golden doodle but he's black, black yeah <laughs> he's black what's wrong with that all right so here we go terms for today it's not golden but he's a cutie pie huh it's a mini black doodle i guess where are the terms can't find them Okay. There we go. Sign vehicle. Oh, we talked about a little bit about face, right? Okay, and how he, what? Face work, yep. Yeah. We're talking about face work and how we apply these different hats, right? I know I mentioned that yesterday. I'm sure you guys heard of that before. We have multiple different hats, multiple different titles, statuses, roles, depending on our environment, depending on what we're getting involved with. Okay, so sign vehicle props. So you might have to put 
in parentheses when you search this sociology because it might just apply to something. Excited for you to work on your, your social media project. It's a social media project? Yeah, you're going to be analyzing pictures of someone's Can account. Well, it's going to explain it. If you're going to use someone we know here at the school or someone like that, you better disclose it. You better not uh, critique it too hard. And if you do, make sure you are uh, discreet about the name. It's so comfortable to leave that out. You can say John Doe or something. Jane Doe. And say only, let's say you're with, you want to analyze Keegan's social media or Instagram. I've been doing that. What? That's scary. It fits along the line. It's not a I'm just going to say this. It fits along the line. It's not a scary. I think it's interesting. Yeah. I think you'll enjoy you it. Your own. We should pick some people in this oh. class and see if they don't at least see each other. You can do a famous person. You can do an actor. Huh? It's not a group. It's private. We'll call them. Oh my God, I can't follow you. You call them. You all those lightsabers, though. Yeah, yeah. No, just bully him so he beats. Free. Beat him. I do too. I, miss I like them a lot. You're going to discover it. Sarah, I used to get so annoyed with it, but I missed the size of the screen. Yeah, he would just go. Oh, yeah, once it got really quiet, he would go. My favorite. Here's where he sits. Does someone have a And he always. Dude, you got to do the pencil thing too. Can you look over at your rat? I believe. Oh my god! Yeah. That's kind of and then he also did the knee slapper thing that you did earlier. Oh. <laughs> he goes pop, pop, pop. That's a real knee slapper, bro. He'd always come in, like, even till the day he left. He even goes, pop, pop, pop. Hey, what's up? Good ceiling? Oh, okay. You're going to analyze the last thing he said. No. You need to do that. All right, here we go. Sign vehicle. Tegan, what do you got since you're on your phone? Okay. Sign vehicle. What do you have? Um, a particular metal object. Okay. I saw the sign. Yeah, good, good, good. So sign vehicle is something I express in an environment. So what would it be a good example of a sign vehicle? Let's say in a picture, I don't know, a classroom. What would be sign vehicles in here? Um, that Spider-Man. Spider-Man, yeah. Knock off. Batman, yes. sports teams everywhere. The Infinity Gauntlet, cool. Let's read Delta here, Yeah. <laughs> Thor's hammer. <laughs> I beat him up for it. Okay. I'm the only one that can pick it up, too. How cool. Uh, yeah. So, sign vehicles or expressions or uh, views of self. That might be objects, might be in the environment. So pennants, I have pennants all over here. It shows that I'm into sports. I'm into superheroes. This guy gets hidden back here. <laughs> these are all gifts, by the way. All right? I mean, these are childhood toys, but yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So you, you <laughs> move on down, all right? <laughs> We have separate rooms. We're not married yet, okay? What? All right. Props. What do we have for props? Leah? Signifiers of roles that are not necessarily conferring of roles. Okay. All right. Okay. So what example do you have of props? I don't know what that is. People said that. Yeah. You guys, I tell you. And you give exactly what I have I'll throw some examples down. I don't know. So this is symbolizing of a role. All right, so a prop of mine would be my ugly cauliflower ear, right? Symbolizing that I wrestle, right? It's showing that it's a, a scar, right? It's, it's, it's disgusting, right? But 
It's uh, something that shows of a status, of a role of a status that I have. Okay. Yeah. Look at your, well, that's more of a sign vehicle, but yeah. Huh? I did. It came right back. No, it hurts. What, seeing the blood come out of my ear? And the pus? You know what they did then? So they suck it out, and then uh, they actually sew a cotton swab right through it. And the, co the uh, cotton swab's there to hold in, like, any type of blood or pus that comes out. And that thing was hard as a rock, and it was black, and it was bloody, and it was gunky. And I had to walk around school with it for, like, two weeks. It was gross. Yeah. And it looked like, I felt like a... a piece of livestock or something a cow or like oh, let's tag it here or tag your ear oh, gosh gross all righty okay and it just shows that i'm a badass right now so don't mess with me you're recording i know i'll just go back and edit it <laughs> no, i'm just kidding wasn't that bad okay so the assignment for today no notes. nope no notes Finish that presentation, that PowerPoint. Oh, watch it. Okay, publish social media perspectives on self. So this goes kind of in detail about um, what we talked about with Goffman's view, his perspective of self. So you guys can read through it if you like, but we already went over it. It's already went through. But here's what I'd like you to do. Coming up. There you go. So, A, examine 25 Instagram posts of someone. So, if you want to do a famous actor, that's fine. You could disclose the information. It's like, oh, I, I don't know. John Cena has a weird Instagram. Do you guys ever see his? Is his weird? Yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. You can do Roman Reigns. But John Cena's makes no sense. Like, he has no sense of any of it. And then someone asked him, I was like, well, is there a meaning behind it? He goes, yeah, eventually. He goes, I'll, I'll show the meaning behind him. I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. But anyway, you're examining 25 Instagram posts of someone. If there's someone in the school or in the classroom, quiet. Sorry. Quiet. Okay. If it's someone in the classroom, please do not say who it is. You can say John Doe or Jane Doe. Okay. We don't want to get in a fight here over someone's social media. What? What do you say? I say you can just do a famous actor yeah all right let's do that why are you embarrassed by your social media yeah i mean if you don't you don't all right here you go on page one group the 25 post thematically in whatever way you choose, this could be hashtags, use filters, types of picture, combination thereof. For example, perhaps 10 of your Instagram posts were selfies, 10 were images of them and friends, five saying were screenshots. All right, describe the groupings in your analysis. Okay. C, write two page analysis of these 25 posts using the framework of Goffman's impression management listed below. So we already talked about dramaturgy, we talked about impression management. We talked about sign vehicles. We talked about props. Okay, so look in this picture. Maybe you can find some of these sign vehicles or props that are utilized that explain that person's role or their view of self. All right, so this project includes both descriptive and analytic elements. Remember that the descriptive is the what. What is the picture of the Instagram literally? The analysis of why. Why you believe they post a particular image in a particular way. So is there a meaning behind it? All right, some of them. Maybe, I don't know, maybe not. Uh, like John Cena's, like I said, just kind of out there. It's weird. What are they communicating? How are they managing their impression of their audience? And this is just going to be an explanation of what we talked about. So we talked about social, uh, well, social settings. We talked about environments. We talked about how this appearance could be, obviously, of what environment they're located in. So appearance, clothing, physical stature. Okay, maybe they're flexing in it, Chris, right? I don't know. Are you the person that always puts on Twitter at the gym, 4 a.m.? Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah. Manner of interacting. So gestures, facial expressions, body language, you name it. And here's a little bit more of it, kind of a, a description of what I like you to do. So as you analyze person A, 25 posts, found the following themes, 10 of the photos were selfies, two pictures of person, boyfriend, girlfriend. So we, do we have to show the picture? We don't <laughs> yeah. actually show them. What? We don't actually show them. No, you don't know, no. We can't expose them. Yeah. Yeah. You're just explaining it. Yeah, like if you did a famous actor or sports star or whatever, you can say, oh, this is the person. Here's like the description of the photo of the of the uh, the post. Okay, what hashtags were used? What was in the background? What were signed vehicles, so props? Just to show them yeah. You can if you want. If it's a famous person, you can just say, okay, here it is, and then describe it. That'd be great. Yeah, let's just do that. Now. Okay. Dude, just fall. Yeah, it would be three pages about. Yeah. I mean, it might take you more to describe the picture and what's all involved in the picture. What? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be like massive or anything like that. But here, here's a good example of analysis. So, of Goffman's explanation. You guys can read it on your own, obviously, but this is kind of what I'm looking for. So in my analysis of person A Instagram post, I noticed several trends. 10 photos that they're selfies. I noticed like if they're just selfies, if there's 10 of them that are selfies, you can just kind of do a, a brief explanation of it. If you want to, like you said, if you want to put a picture in explaining it, this is it, right? And then I noticed uh, particular facial expressions of one of Goffman's signed vehicles. Five, 10 selfies, person made a duck face. <laughs> duck face. Or hilarious. All right. Add her, add her facial expression. I believe this section that makes face is giving expression that blank. The analysis here. Okay. All right. So there you go. You have today, you have tomorrow, and the weekend to work on this. Yeah. I want to hear Monday. Okay. Okay. Hurry up.